Welcome to today's tech tip. Today we're going to go over how to create this dumbbell using simple extrudes and cut extrudes within SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. First thing to do for either of these features is we want to create a sketch. Now for this case we're going to create a hexagonal profile and we want to fully define this so that we can create our overall dumbbell profile. With our sketch fully defined, we're going to go to our Features tab and we want to click our Extruded Boss Base tool. Now this brings up our Boss Extruded Property Manager and allows us to control our specific end conditions. With our blind end condition, we have these little handles we can pull side to side to increase or decrease the overall dimension. In this case, we want to add material evenly to either side of the right plane, so we're going to select the mid plane end condition. As you can see, we can increase or decrease the overall dimension by hitting the up-down arrows here, or we can simply type in our desired length. Now that we're okay with our end condition, we can hit OK, and we're going to create a boss extrude feature in our feature tree. I'm going to turn off my planes just for some visibility here. Our next option is to cut this in half and create our two separate dumbbell ends. So to do this, we're going to create a sketch on our top face here, and we're going to fully define it so that we have our two ends. Back on our Features tab, we're going to hit Extruded Cut, and you can see the Property Manager is very similar to our Extrude. In this case, we could go through all and cut through everything, or we could make a smarter selection and go up to Surface and control what surface we want to stop at. In this case, we do want it to go through everything, and we're going to select the bottom surface. Now, Selection Box is going to come up saying, do you want to keep these bodies? We're going to hit OK. We do want to keep both of those bodies. Now we're going to use a technique called bridging to connect these bodies back together with a simple extrude. So we're going to create our circular cross section profile for the handle, fully define that sketch. And with that sketch completed, we're going to close it out. And we're going to make sure we're still pre selected in our feature tree. Go back to our features tab, select our extruded boss base. And now you can see it saved us in a midplane in condition. This might not be our best bet because we want to add material to one side, not both. So we could go blind and drag our arrow back in and stop between the faces of the end. This might not be our best option because if we update the overall length, then that transition piece may not follow. So if we change to our up to next end condition, it's going to extrude up to the next face and stop. We're going to click OK. And now you can see we've created our overall dumbbell feature. So now we're just going to add in some fillets and some chamfers, add a few finishing details here, maybe assign a material, uh, do whatever else we need to to finish off the model. As you can see, now that we've created all of these, just with a few simple extrudes and extruded cuts, we were able to create this dumbbell. Thanks for watching.